Hey, welcome to our next episode of the Home Flipping Adventures. And we are at a house today that's totally finished. We actually show you a lot of houses that are run down and you know, beat up and not looking so pretty, but this is a house we finished. Uh, we didn't do the exact before, but we do have a lot of photos we're gonna put in here in video to show you what it looks like going from a nasty house to a beautiful home that just hit the market. Yep, So let's go, let's go see what Amber did to it. All right. I think this house turned out really beautiful. Now, most of the time, we stage all of our houses. You know, we put curtains up to add those pops of colors. We put a couple little tables in the corner, maybe a throw rug down, some knickknacks here and there to warm it up. But with COVID going on, you know, getting people here to stage it and everything is a little more challenging. So this is a shell right now of, of just an empty house, but it looks really good and it's a good idea to stage a lot of houses that are remodels is because most of the houses even after they're redone they have what we consider character flaws you know there might be a stain in the floor that you know if you have curtains and some knickknacks out it detracts your eye and takes your eye away from the flaw and people can kind of like see it warmer and and they don't just notice the flaws we've been on the market for about a week yep and we had we only had one showing pictures make people come in. As I'm walking in here to see this for the first time, you haven't seen the, have you seen the finished product yet? No. So you saw it in process, but right. not finished. It doesn't have any color. Yeah. And I'm, but I'm just- Staging helps, don't get me, me wrong. Let me, let me throw it out there. Do we, so what do we do? That's a problem. Well, do we, we could get ourselves dirty and come here and stage it ourselves. <laughs> I like that idea. So, you gotta but, do what you gotta but do, though. Just let, we should be thinking about that, though, because even curtains right. will make a huge difference. They, they right do now, there's warm no it color up. here at all. And if people are looking through it online, I wonder what. Yeah, you, you may lose buyers uh, just that because might, the that house might, looks That cold. might be, we have to make a decision today if we're gonna come back here on stage or not. And I think yeah. there's a showing this weekend. I think if we get bad feedback or anything on it, let's look at the rest of the house. I, I'm, mean, not so far, looks, I'm not opposed to that. It looks amazing right now. I think we should consider maybe putting some curtains up and putting some color because as nice as this looks, it's also, I know how nice it is because how crappy it was before. Yeah. But this and is kind of blah when you walk in. We'll go back in a minute and we'll show you a before and after of the outside. It was pretty dramatic. The siding on this house was really, really in rough shape. So we had to side the whole house. And we did like a little stone siding on the bottom and it just completely transformed and made the curb appeal of this house a lot better. And that was a big deal on this house because we do have some drawbacks on this house first and foremost is it's on a fairly busy road so we really have to make the inside of this house spectacular so that someone walks in and just has that wow factor and they just fall in love with it and that is greater than the problem of the busy road all right let's go show the rest of the house we got right. a lot of stuff so at first here. of all we opened up this wall you know oh, this was a did? solid wall before yep okay we opened up that wall put the spindles in were you were you solid here yeah. or were you like okay Amber yeah. likes to do that. She likes to open up the openings up and add railing. It makes it look a lot open. It, it does. Right. It makes it feel a lot more open. Got some cool fixtures. Yep, we kind of went with the more this urban, urban country feel. The kitchen before was itty bitty. I mean, it was from here forward, and this was like an added on porch. So since we already had it here, we just switched out the window that was there and, and changed a couple little things around and extended the kitchen this whole length. That was a huge transformation in this kitchen. You went this from a beautiful. Cracker Jack box to a really nice grand kitchen. I did pantries on both sides of the refrigerator so it has that nice like built-in look. Got the soft closed drawers I see. Yep, soft closed drawers, the arabesque backsplash. Nice. You know, everything is like... Beautiful. Yeah, it, it turned out really, this really gorgeous. Yeah, this, this came out great. Yep. This is beautiful. Unfortunately, the stairs are in the middle of the kitchen and living room, so I couldn't open that up. Well, but I did cool. open it up to the dining room. So we put cool. the bar in here. You know, they can pop a couple bar stools there and still have plenty of room for their dining room table. Great. Yep. So on the first floor, we also have two bedrooms and a came bathroom. Out, this came out nice. Okay. Typical bathroom for us. Yep. Before it was pretty nasty, right? Yeah. So this bedroom actually had, I think it was a toilet <laughs> in this closet. That's nice. Now it's a nice no, big closet. No nice sink or anything, just a toilet. No, just a toilet. Yep. They weren't washing their hands. So the thing I'm most excited about besides the kitchen though is the upstairs because that is a pretty big transformation. Cool. So this was like oh. semi-finished up here. Nice. Yeah, we opened up the... Nice, I like that. 
the sheetrock and incorporated the... We did a full renovation. We couldn't uh, splurge for a new doorknob. Right. We had to keep the original doorknob. I know. I don't okay. know why they do stuff like that sometimes. I don't know. So annoying. All right. <laughs> so, the master bedroom, really nice size. Nice, big master bedroom. Where, where did he go? I lost my wingman. I'm here. Okay. I'm looking, it's beautiful. So it's before great. there was a single closet right here, it was kind of small. And then over here was just like this kind of weird attic space that you could only access from the hallway. I said, let's this put is in is your light here? a pocket door. Yeah. Oh, this is I huge. I said, let's put in a pocket door, go back. So now we have this nice big walk-in closet. Nice, I like that. It's really, it's this is great. quite big, yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to do double doors here because this is the wall they put their bed on and the doors would take up too much room. Amber so I wanted to make it thinks about those details. We have to because when people come into houses, they nest. They say, "All right, my bed's going to go here. My I have room for my nightstand and my dresser and all that kind of stuff." Let me just say that when women come into a house, they nest. Guys come to a house are like, "Yeah, it's good. Got to throw a couch, have a drink. Where's my TV?" I'm good to go. No, the guy asked the girl, what do you think? That's what I meant. Yes, dear. Okay. So like I said, that this is important because that was a closet before, but I used it somewhere else. Okay. This bathroom is enormous. Well, it wasn't a bathroom. It was just a room and it didn't, did not have a closet. So it was just a room by itself and it was Pepto-Bismol Peak. Wow. So <clears throat> that closet that was in the other room is now the separate toilet area. So you put the door on that side. Yep. Put the door on this side, gave the, the bathroom its own. And then, you know, we did have some angled walls in here, so we, but we lucked out because we had this flat wall to work with and then a nice big room for the shower. Yeah. And then, you know, they could put a shelving unit in here for so, towels or linens so or even open shelving. As we're walking through the house, I keep asking myself, should we put some towels for some color or a curtain rod? I mean, should we put a couple things around? Because it's as nice as it is, it, it looks blah, it's not blah. Yeah, I'm not at all opposed to doing that. I, you know, we always stage our houses. This is the first house we haven't staged, I think, yeah. since we ever, ever started. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Just with COVID, we're COVID. trying to figure out how to do all that, so we couldn't get we couldn't get our stager out here. But maybe now we can. New York says they're going to open up in two weeks, which might mean five months or four years. Who knows? Gotta yeah. love our, gotta love our all state. All sorts of, of challenges. Ugh. This was great. You did really good. How about the basement? I want to see that because I think the basement was in rough shape. It's a humid day today. Feels a little, yeah, it doesn't feel bad though. Feels good. Feels cool. It does feel cool. So this is nice. I mean, it looks good down here. Plugged it off there. We got, so we have a new hot water heater. Why is this like this? I don't remember this. I don't know, my dear. Was there something built here? I, I, I don't remember. I don't know. So that looks like an old. But that's. Septic line. That's unappealing to a buyer. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. We should fill that in with some concrete <clears throat> or something. Well, so at this point, we're on the market. We're already on the market. We're live. We're hot. Okay. Inventory is low. But that can be a really... I understand. But let's see what let's see how it plays out. We have we have other so, problems to worry so about, too, though. you want to lose a buyer? Would you like to get concrete in the truck right you now? You want to lose have, a potential buyer. I have 12 bags of concrete in the but car. I'm just saying, before we have more showings, maybe we should fix that. Because that maybe. Could, we could lose a buyer because maybe. they see that. Yes, dear. I don't have to have it in the truck with me. I don't really carry concrete around. She likes to jump me like, I'm gonna fix it right now. Didn't work. It's not working. Yeah, that's what I meant. So we have a sump pump here. So if I understood, this is pretty deep. That was, by, that was the old original well in the house. I talked to our contractors, that was the old original well they used to get water out of in the house. That's where they used to do it, I guess. You know that? I did not know that. So. But good luck lifting that top off. Well, that's why it's there, it's for safety reasons. So it's all good to go. Let's go outside. So we finished this house in the winter time. So because you finished the house in the winter time, the landscape is never that great. So it's a little challenging. Today's the first nice day we've had in a long time. Yeah, and I'm super annoyed when I give instructions on my scope at work <clears throat> and they don't get followed. Yeah, they obviously didn't put weed block down. There's no weed block in this. This, this yeah, I mean, just I guess that's just <coughs> paper, but they yeah, didn't put weed block, so it's coming through. Yeah, so we'll have to talk to our project manager about that. So it's a different kind of backyard. I don't know how far back we go, do you know? I have no idea. We must go back pretty far. It feels like we do. It's not, not a traditional looking backyard, so if someone wanted to put a pool and stuff, it might be a little tough, but they could. 
to move that garage around, but it is what it is. Made the house look great and it's in the market, so now we gotta find a buyer and get out. Luckily, like I said, inventory's low, so we'll see what we do, and, and um, it's a beautiful home in a beautiful neighborhood. And there are some things that, you know, as a homeowner, they could definitely do, like in the dining room, instead of the windows there, it'd be great to put in some sliding doors and build like a nice big deck out here. Yeah. We weren't gonna get our money back if we did that on this house, but, you know, a homeowner that has some vision can definitely see that sort of thing. You can let homeowners do, you can let homeowners for sure, they always wanna spend money. These, most homeowners spend the most money in their home the first year they're in the house. That's not the most, unless they put something major in, but if they're, they spend all these odds and the things that they add. So we could put a deck on there and they may say, that deck's too small, it's too right. big, it's too white, it's too woody looking, it's too trex looking. You know, it could be all different problems. It could be they don't like it, so they might want to do something new. So that's a custom that they can definitely do themselves. But I think that we've, uh, we've done good. We got to decide if we're going to stage it. So I think we wait till this weekend. And if we don't get any buyers come in and we don't get any bites because the weather's nice, Again, we're in COVID, so people are weird about coming out. Right. But I think we get we do the best we can to make it look great, and then we. Uh, if I we have don't, a feeling we're going to need to stage it, and we're going to need to fix those couple little things to make it. Yeah. Nicer. Well, we're going to play it here. We're going to see what happens in the next. That's what we do: is we, we'll put it in the market, we'll see what's going to happen, we'll make decisions accordingly, and then we'll go from there. If we're lucky, we'll get an offer this weekend and be able to sell it. Yep. On to the next home flipping adventure. We'll see you there. See you there.